Yeah. Consent remains a critical issue in the context of the Me Too movement and the ongoing stories around sexual assault and harassment. However, a recent survey from the Canadian Women's Foundation has found that Canadians' understanding of consent has actually dropped over the last three years. Joining us this morning to go through the results is Paulette Senior from the Canadian Women's Foundation. Paulette, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Uh, it is a fascinating number. It's dropped from 33%, was it, down to 28, right? 33% in 2015 and to 28% in 2018. Any, is it because we're in a bit of a maelstrom right now as everybody's trying to sort things out? What's, what do you think the yeah, reason it, is? It could be a combination of a number of things. Perhaps people are thinking that they thought they knew and now they really don't know, so they really have to get to know what consent is all about. And, and plus, there's been so much happening, you know. Uh, there may be some confusion about that. And, and then I think it also speaks very clearly to the fact that what we need is more education around what consent really is. What is consent then to uh, the woman, Canadian Women's Foundation? Well, consent is really uh, not just one thing, it's several things. It's got to be verbal, it's got to be behavioral, it's got to include, um, uh, you know, words that people can actually say that, yes, you're interested in actually being with me intimately. Um, it's got to be ongoing and it should really also, I think, be positive and enthusiastic. So perhaps it's a combination of things and I think we're moving away from the notion that consent was always about when someone says yes or no, which should be sufficient. But we, we also know that consent can be given and withdrawn. And so it is complex. Human behavior is complex. And uh, we're moving into a time where people probably just have to communicate, you know, and use all it's forms of communication. It's a novel concept to, to, right. to be able to talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, education is the key to this. I think it is. And education in terms of building awareness, I think the Me Too movement has certainly raised lots of questions and women have come out and said, this has happened to me and, and it's enough. Uh, but it's also very clear that we need to do the kind of education that tell people, you know, uh, if you want to be intimate with someone, make sure that someone also wants to be intimate with you. You know, I think we all know that as men, women, or even non-binary people, that we've been socialized to think in a particular way. We've been socialized to think that perhaps as a male that you need to persuade, if you probably even dominate. Uh, and as women, we're, we're also taught that traditionally we should, you know, be submissive and not demonstrate that we're enthusiastically interested in being sexually active. And so we're, those times have changed, they're changing, and, uh, and so we need to educate one another, uh, but also we need to do the kind of education that's prevention, focused on preventing um, uh, any kinds of unhealthy relationship. So we think that that's important, and every year this year, uh, uh, in, in, every year in May, uh, we, we have the campaign to end violence in partnership with Winners and Home Sense, mm -hmm. and so they go about raising funds to support us. They actually design a product line and ask people for uh, cash support for the work that we do at the Canadian Women's Foundation. Okay, Paula, thank you very much for thank joining you. us today thank talking you. about this. It's a difficult to issue to deal with, but it sounds like we're starting to sort it out slowly. We certainly are. Fingers crossed on that. Thank you very much, thank Paula. You. For more info, go to CanadianWomen.org.